Okay, um, mabata na ni mo akong kuan. Tingog. Ah, mabata. Okay, so. Ah, putol-putol. Ang karon, okay na. Or putol-putol, gihapon. Okay na. Okay, sige. Um, Okay, so uh, let's start. So I will discuss to you uh, the formula for the volume of uh, the basic 3D solids, and then we will go to uh, some kuan mga intricate nga mga 3D solids. So here, let's start with this first figure or this first 3D nga solid. So, unsa man siya, unsa may tawag ani niya, kaning pinakauna. This is just a uh, review. Diba this is a cube. This is a cube. We're in the cube composed of kanang oh, cube composed of uh, kanang kuan three sides or three dimensions that have kanang the same measurement. Diba pareha sila? So, let's say if we have a length of A. So, natay length sa cube nga A. Of course, automatic ihapong width or breadth is A. And then, its height is also A. So, therefore, the volume of the cube. Volume of the cube is equals to A cube. So, mara siya. Volume sa cube is A cube. Well, this is basic. Then, the second one, what is this? Ang samanin siya nga figure. Kanin ka doon ha? This is a rectangular prism, di ba? Rectangular prism. O rectangle kay 2D man ito siya. Katong rectangular prism. Ang atong rectangle, 2D na siya. Ang rectangular prism mo ng 3D. Na na siya eh. So, for a rectangular prism, ang sa may volume niya? Naka-idea? Volume sa atong rec rectangular prism. So, as you notice, sa ato ang rectangular prism, we have the length A. So, mo na siya ang long, longest side. Followed by the second one, our width, man B, and then of course our height, C carrying C. Yeah. So therefore, ah, the same with cube, di ba si cube kay? That is just the the product of our length, width, and the height. And since si cube kay same man si all dimensions tanan, so mo lang a cube. However, for rectangular prism, lai lai ug sukod. So different dimensions. That's why that's why we just multiply all of them. So we have the length a, the width b, and the height c. So for rectangular prism, given these dimensions, the volume is just the product of these three dimensions. Okay. So kung manasa rectangular prism, then for number three, ano sa manis yah? Ang sama niya nga kanang kuan 3D nga solid. Ang sama niya siya. Sa ipangan ano niya. Okay. Cylinder. Yes. Cylinder. And then, what is the kuan? I mean, before that, a cylinder, ang iyang dimension is since ang iyahang kanang iha base is is kanang circular shape So therefore, it has a diameter, diameter D, or you can have the radius, and then of course, the cylinder has a height. And as you notice, ah, na ang kaning base niya ng surface is parallel to another circular surface po dito sa top. So dapat parallel na siya. That is for irregular cylinder. So here, what is the formula for the volume of the cylinder?
Bisa bantu saya. Di Ah, ko ang agpay. Napatay pay. Oh, di ba pay si Yeah, because ang yahang actually ang principle ng guniana is that this area right here, okay? Let's say this is the base area. Now, if we're going to extrude this at a certain height, so meaning, tanan nga yung masugatan, mo na yung makover up nga kanang kuan nga space. Since volume talks about space, so kanang makover up aning aning yung base, mo na siya yung makreate nga volume. So therefore, generally for for a kuan for a 3D nga object, actually nagigikan nga siya sa area of the base times height of the base times height and we know that the area of the base of the cylinder is a circle so that is pi r squared diba? pi r squared times height and if ang given sa problem is diameter so therefore we already know that the diameter is equal to twice the radius or the radius is equal to half of the diameter diba? the radius is equal to half the diameter so therefore Substituting this one, um, he mo ni siya og pi, then d over 2 squared multiplied by the height. So here, may mo na ning pi over 4, d squared multiplied by the height. So this is now our formula for cylinder. So ay lang jud kalimti, yan na lang ang principle pagkuha sa mga 3D solids. Actually, ma apply ni siyang area of the base times height for cylinder. Rectangular prism, cube, or any uh, kanang regular nga prism. Again, when we say regular prism, okay, regular prism. So, kung regular prism, actually, uh, at any given nga base area, or at, at any given nga base shape, so let's say, uh, if we have a base na ang base shape nato kay circle ang ma-generate nato niya nga 3D object is a cylinder now if we have a base uh, a, a base shape of square ang sa ma-generate niya maybe it's either a uh, rectangular prism okay maybe it's a rectangular prism so mo na siya yung base area ha the same with the cylinder or Pwede ra po, a cube. Let's say, ang atong extrusion or the height just just the same as the side of this square. So, naka-generate tadri og cube. So, again, still the principle is area of the base multiplied by the height here. Even if we have here a triangle, an equilateral triangle, or even dili siya equilateral triangle as long as triangle siya, if we... Uh, take some extrusion or ato siya i-project at a certain height so na-create na taog prism this is irregular prism so unsa may unsa may naka what makes irregular prism regular so pasabot niya na is that ang iyahang top na surface diba this is the top surface so I'm going to label that one or ako'y coloral or red kanin silang top surface should be parallel should be parallel to the base. Parallel to the base, so this is a regular prism. The same thing with this one. This rectangular prism, ang iyang top surface is still parallel to the base. And then this one, the cube, as you notice, still parallel to the base. And also the uh, triangular prism. So this is a triangular prism. Still parallel to the base. So, magamit na, na to ang formula nga area of the base time side. And not only for, for triangular kanang prism, but also for uh, n-sided n nga polygon. Let's say we have an octagon. So, pilara, uh, pilay, pilay, pila ka sides ang naasa ko an octagon, Mr. Ablen? Okay, 8. So, if you're going to project that 8 sides, Mm. going to project that 8 sides so maka create na po kag, of course 8 nga projection sa top 
okay, 8 ka projection sa top. And if that top surface mo parallel siya sa sa imuhang base nga surface, so therefore that is a regular prism of 8 sides. Okay? I mean, not 8 sides, mura siya uh, kanang kuan ba? Um n polygon nga prism. So this one is an octagonal kanang kuan prism. So mana siya ang kanang kuan basic or general formula for a regular prism. So a cylinder uh kuan siya kanang ang iyang base is a circle. So gi project siya mo na na create ang cylinder. Okay, so proceed ta sa sphere kaning ika opat kapat nga figure sphere this is a sphere so ang sa to formula for sphere sphere is volume sa sphere okay volume of sphere is pi r cube pi r cube lang Nakalimot na? <laughs> okay, the volume of sphere is 4 third. 4 third pi r cube. R cube. So, if given ang radius, so, maan is siya. How about if given ang diameter? So, diameter again is just equal to uh, 2r. For in r is equals to d over 2. So, substituting that one, may mo siyang 4 third pi, then d over 2 cube. So, may mo na siyang 4 third pi d cube all over 8. Diba? So, makancel ni kanil siya, may mo na 2. So, therefore, that is pi d cube over 6. If given ang diameter. If given ang radius, so, just go to uh, one. Go for 4 third pi r cube. So, ayad yun ni kalimte. Okay, next, kaning iya obos. What is this uh, 3D solid? Okay, this is a cone. Specifically, a regular cone. So, regular cone is here. This is a cone. And then, for a cone, ang given sa cone is, as you notice, na siya base nga circle. So, if the base is circle, and then, Ayan projection is nakaslant na ang iyahang kuan nakaslant ang iyahang sides unya ni converge siya at a certain kanang point so ang kanang point of intersection man nagitawag nga vertex so na siya tumoy-tumoy mana siya sa cone and then of course for a cone given ang diameter or ang radius since circular man iyahang base and then of course given ang height where in the height should be from the vertex towards the base and it should be perpendicular with the base mana siya so you, you are given a height and given the diameter okay so for a cone formula for cone actually di na siya ma apply ang prism katong area one uh, area is i mean volume is area of the base times height now for uh for a 3d solid gali nga we converge get siya to a certain point called vertex actually ang general formula na nila kay kani sila daghan mis lag klase kasi namang kay cone na kay pyramid di ba ang pyramid kung na imong nakit-an kaning next nga figure di ba we converge pud ihang mga lateral sides into a certain point known as a vertex so kani sila nga mga families of 3d solids ang ilahang formula for its volume, so volume of a cone is just equal to one third area of the base times height, meaning one third ra. One third. So, with, with the pyramid also, one third gihapon na sila. So, what is the area of its base? For a cone, that is the area of a circle. So, we have one third pi r squared times the height. That is pi r squared h all over 3. Wana so, siya. And if you're given the diameter, so plug in lang, this is also the same as pi, then d over 2 squared, this is squared, ha? h all over 3. So simplifying further, we now have pi d squared times
times height all over uh, 4 times 3 that is 12 okay so mana siya if you're given diameter mo gamit, gamiton pi d squared over h well anyways ang image tigaman ana is just the the principle sa pag solve sa volume that is one third area of the base times height because if you already know this then you can derive this uh this formulas nga akong ipakita ninyo kaning in terms of diameter or in terms of radius Okay, ika unum. Ano siya? So, may tawag ani. This is a pyramid. Now, ang mm, ang pagpangalan po sa pyramid, actually, na, na po na siya specific na name. And in naming this pyramid, so, this is pyramid. Ang specific na, uh, name sa kanang mga pyramids is mag-agad sa iyahang kanang kuan, shape sa iyahang base. So, in this figure, on sa may shape sa iha base. Diba almost a square? Square. So therefore, the name, the specific name for this one is a square pyramid. We also have a pyramid that has a base of a triangle. So we can call that one as a triangular pyramid. Huwag na ay naapoy uban nga ang base kay pentagon. So pentagonal pyramid so on and so forth okay so for a pyramid the same uh koan the same principle with the koan with the cone so but before that ato sa ipang sulat ang iyahang mga dimensions so this one is your side let's say this is side a and then of course same thing kay since this is square so side a niya and then the height must be from the vertex so again vertex niya nagyapon and then naka-project ni siya sa base, perpendicular. And, of course, the distance there is your height. Okay? So, solving the volume. So, we have here uh, volume of the pyramid, especially for a square pyramid. This is equal to one-third area of the base multiplied by the height. So, here, uh, the... Uh, the base area is a square so therefore that is one third then a, uh, a squared right a squared times the height so therefore that is the formula for a pyramid a, a square pyramid specifically okay ang general formula for a pyramid kanila siya one third area of the base times the height so mag agad kung unsay shape sa imo base Okay, so what I pangota na ni? Clarify ra. Okay, so let's proceed to the next one. Kaning volume of some prism. So again, as what I have told you, we have two types of prism. We have a right prism, or this is also known as irregular prism, since, as you notice, ang iyahang top surface is parallel to the bottom surface. Whereas, sa right side, we have here an oblique prism. Okay, so kani silang doha, nani sila ay kanya-kanyang calculations sa ilang volume. So, let's start with the oblique prism. So, we have two cases here for, for an oblique uh, prism. First one is, you can solve its volume in terms of the, um, koan, the cross-sectional area cross-sectional area now if you're if we are going or if you are going to use the cross-sectional area and that is represented by AR the variable AR and naana sa figure kanang kanang inyo nakita nga blue kani this is AR now cross-sectional area is defined as the area that is perpendicular to the side Okay, di ba ang side niya for, in, uh, for an oblique prism, the slide is slanting. Di ba nakaslant siya? That's why we also have this new height here in terms of this slanting side. We call that one as the, the lateral side. Okay, so ang cross-sectional area is an area that is perpendicular, perpendicular to the lateral. So again, 
at reference ani is ang lateral lateral side and that is represented by L in the figure so mana siya if you're going to use ha kung cross sectional area ay mong gamiton the volume here is equal to again for a normal prism that is area of the base times height since we are using here the a uh, cross sectional area so we are going to put the cross sectional area that is area of I mean the cross sectional area multiplied by is it the height or the lateral side what do you think Mr. Ablen and Saman is it the height or the the lateral side ang atong i-multiply area ang height nga naman nga nung ang height man Di ba, i-recall na to sa ato ang pag-solve ganiha for the volume of a rectangular prism, di ba? Atong formula ito is area of the base, di ba? Area of the base times the height. And the height should be, should be on saman, should be perpendicular with the base. Okay? But diri, ah, on sa may perpendicular ni uh, cross-sectional area, kaning AR? Si length na. I mean, si lateral side na, di ba? Di na sa H. Nakuha ni mo? Di na sa H. Si length na. Okay? Si length na siya. Kay, with respect to our cross-sectional area, si height kay naka-incline. However, si length is naka-perpendicular siya sa cross-sectional area. So, if you are using the cross-sectional area, be sure to... Uh, kanang ko and to use also the lateral side so we're going to multiply this by l so mana siya ang general formula for an oblique prism now ikaduha in terms of the kato atong kanan traditional nga area of the base so area of the base that is a b so this area of the base should be perpendicular perpendicular to the height h so mana siya height height nga h so since perpendicular man ang area of the base ni height h so therefore ang atong volume ani is that area so ab multiplied by uh, the the uh, the dimension that is perpendicular to this area. So, that is the height. So, area of the base times the height. Again, para di ka maglibog, ayaw ni slide interchange. Basin o nagamit ka o cross-sectional area, din pag imong gimultiply nga height is kaning h, not the lateral. So, wrong na ka. So, kailangan i-paired ni mo. Kailangan si cross-sectional area should be paired only with the lateral height or the length of the lateral side and then the area of the base should be paired only to the height okay to the height now for a right prism so wala man tayo problema ani for a right prism since usara may formula ni ini that is just volume is equal to area of the base times this height why because in the right prism the area of the base or this is the base area is just equal to the area of the or I mean the cross-sectional area AC or AR that is the cross-sectional area okay diba ang cross-sectional area ano na okay diba by definition si cross-sectional area is an area that is perpendicular to your side. So, since si side kay naka vertical, so ang perpendicular anak niya, mapod si cross-sectional area. And then, here, the same si cross-sectional area kay area of the base because they are parallel to each other. So, that's why we only have a single uh, a single formula for uh, the right prism or the regular prism. That is just the area of the base times the height. Okay, so wala na yung eh.
Okay, so let's proceed to the next one. That is the volume of frustum of 3D solids. So naka nakasugat mo ani? Nakasugat kani ka kan Mr. Evelyn sa mga senior high kaning frustum kaning mga frustums. Naman tay for cone and for pyramid. Wala ka na kuha ani? Or nakalimot lang. Wala jud. So the first one kan siya. This is uh, first tome of a cone. First tome of a cone. So giyon sa man pag kuha ning volume aning first tome of a cone since as you notice when we say first tome class gitunga gitunga gi-cut out nimo ang either cone or ang pyramid so that ang cut out niya should be parallel so di ba ang cut out ni ani is kaniman mo ni ang ayan na cut out so ang ang na cut out para matawag siya nga first tome should be parallel to the base kay if dili na siya parallel naka slant na siya so an, an, lain na pud iha tawag bit na siya first tome so mana siya ang kon sa first tome now we are going to uh, derive the formula for the volume of a first tome of a cone so well actually since cut out naman siya so let's assume nga uh, mao din iya hang kuan mo ni siya ang iyang hole meaning na adira so therefore if we're going to project that one at siya to nga on into half now we can create this perfect nice triangle so they cut out ha ang katunga or ang one fourth sa atong cone naging anak na siya class this is our uh, original height at ala label as big letter H and then of course naka frustum naman so gipika siya ni pika siya ra so therefore the height below is atong indicate nga H height below is H and then how about ang height sa gipahakan o sa gikuha that is just the, the difference of the total height that is big, big letter H minus small letter H sa ubos. So, muna siya. So, assuming nga kani, pahak ni, meaning mo niya ang gitang-tang. So, kani mo niya ang gitang-tang. And this is, let's say, this is uh, A. And yeah, what's left is B. And then, of course, from the given figure, gilabel niya nga kani daw si big letter r daw ni okay the base radius and then small letter r this is the top radius of course this is 90 degree nga triangle okay so from this figure kani ang drawing nga duha we can say that the uh, volume the volume of the frustum of a cone fc is just equal to uh, the the volume of the cone nga wala pa siya gipika sa so that is the volume of AB so kanang giusa minus the volume ni A kanang gitibhangan sa babaw minus BA and diba we all know that the volume of the entire cone is equal to diba on saman to general formula for a volume of a cone sam to siya that is one third sakto ba? One third, diba? One third, then the area of AB multiplied by the height. Mm -mm, one third. Multiplied by the height. And what is the height? Mm -mm. And what is the height of the original nga cone before Pasiagi slice? So that is big letter H. Minus one third multiplied by the area of this cut out na nga cone that is kanidire so ato sa label nga area of ni area ni a then multiply by its height the height there is h minus small letter h okay so here um ato sa i simplify ang ilahang mga kuan mga formulas especially for the areas since this is a cone so 
So this is one third, and then the area here, kaning sa obos, kaniyang gi shadean kani. That is just equal to pi r squared. Diba? That is pi r squared, and then multiplied by the height h minus one third, and then area put ni a, kani akong gishidan kagani ha. Katong balikon kani siyang apart. Mam ni ang ang base area sa katong atong cone nga kani siya mga mo igikuha. Okay, so therefore that is one third pi r squared nga kana gamay nga r. That is pi r squared, small letter r, then h minus h. Here, we can actually factor out koan. We can actually factor factor out um one third pi. So we have shang pi over three. Then what's left here is r squared. So capital r squared then h minus dili a na tay r squared h minus small r squared a plus na ni plus small r a plus r squared h. So manak siya. And since ang given array is only h, meaning we need to eliminate this capital letter h. Kaya di ba ang given raman sa tong first term is only this small letter h. Kani raman. Okay, this small letter h only. So meaning we're going to eliminate this capital h here sa ato ang naderive nga nga formula. Okay. So what we need to do is we're going to use this second diagram nga kong gisho sa imo kani siya. Kani. Because in here, this is a cut out of the koan of a cone. Mura iyang cross sectional ba? Gi cut out ba gud nya? Gi cut out ba gud ng pikas? Mura siya quarter. Okay, one fourth. Gi one fourth. So here, as you notice, we have a triangle, di ba? Triangle. And as you notice, natay bigger triangle, na putay smaller triangle. Kana smaller triangle kani. Then we have a bigger triangle, the entire cone kani siya. And these two cones, nga kong gi-emphasize sa, sa inyo is they are similar koan, similar triangles because they have the same um, angle here, kaning, sa tip angle nila and then they also share some sides or they also share some common sides so therefore, matawagan na itong similar triangle and by similar triangle, we can have some kanang ratios that will relate their sides. So here, sa ako, I'm going to relate their height and their uh, base. So for the bigger triangle, that is, its height is h, and its base is the radius r. Okay, mana siya radius r. Equal po na siya since this is a similar triangle. Equal po na siya sa ratio sa kaning triangle sa babaw kani akong gishidan og blue i mean red and now ako nang gi blue ang iyahang height is h minus small letter h so h minus h all over its its base is the small letter r that's the radius so here we are going to solve for h here so what we need to do is we take the uh, i mean we cross multiply so we have here uh, r h minus r small letter h is equal to big letter h multiplied by small r so um combining combining the h so we can transpose this on the other side we have h then that is r minus r can i transpose a pika so we have r then h now we can divide both sides by big letter r minus r r minus r so what's left is the height the i is this equal to r all over r minus r multiplied by h now by having this information can you see ya? we can substitute this in our equation previously nga ato na derived so ato na substitute let's do that so diri na lang nato so what so here mahimo ni siya og equals pi over 3 then we have r squared multiplied by the h that is r all over 
R minus RH. Then minus R squared. Nya na po siya diri a R all over R minus R H. Then plus R squared H. So kung inyo na napansin, for each term, common nila si H, di ba? Common na si H, common nila si H. So therefore, ato na sila factor out. So may nang pi H over 3. What's left here is natay R cube. Okay, R squared times R mani. So that is R cube. All over R minus R. Then here, natay minus minus we have r then r squared all over r minus r here we have plus r squared okay na so yeah uh all over i want to say all over day to run over so here um at the is we are going to one we are going to combine all these uh, three terms inside. So, combining them, they have a uh, kanang koan, LCD of R minus R. So, on the first term, R cube Japanese, yeah. Second term is minus R R squared. The third term here is we have um, plus R R squared, then minus r cube so here na ay makancel di ba nakasunod pa ka nakasunod ba makancel ni okay so makancel na siya so what's left na lang is we have pi h over 3 then that is r cube minus r cube all over r minus r as you notice kanis siya this is the uh, kanang difference of two cubes, di ba? Kung nakaremember kani, this is difference of two cubes. Difference of two cubes. So, mahimar siyang x cube minus y cube. The factor here is x minus y then x squared plus xy plus y squared. So, ato na siya i-factor out. So, may mo na niya siya og pi h over 3. Then, that would be r minus r multiplied by r squared plus r r. Then, plus, may mo na niya siya og kanang koan. May mo na siya og r squared. Then, divided by r minus r. So, Ata nakita, kanis siya makancel ni. Makancel ni, ug makancel ni. Therefore, what's left is, we have pi h over 3 multiplied by r squared plus r r, then plus r squared. Well, mo na siya ang ato ang formula for a first term of a cone. But, uh, we can also uh, derive this Ma-derive pa rin na siya further para magamit na to in order to generalize a formula for a first term. Because here, kung niya ma mapansin, kung ako na siya ibalik, kaning pi sa sulod, mahimo rin siyang h over 3, mahimo rin siya rin pi r cube, I mean pi r squared, plus pi r r, plus pi r squared. Well, kay baw na taaning pi r squared. This is the area of the base sa ubos. Area of the bottom that is h over 3. So that is area sa bottom plus pi r r then plus diri a may maning area sa top. Kaning pi r squared small letter r that is the area at the top. So butang na to area at the top. Okay. But this one, kaning pi r r, kani siyang pi r r glass, kani siyang pi r r. Actually, if we are going to square that, okay, 
we're going to square this 3, ha? So, may mayroon siyang pi squared, r squared, r squared. Now, since ato gi square, para ma mabalik siya, so yan yung puro maaw, we're going to take the square root. Diba? Kung mag-take tag square root, diba mga tang-taning squared? So, kanis siya, ang expression is just the same with this. Because here, masiparate naman good nato siya class. Ang usaka pi, ihatag ni r squared, and the other pi, ihatag ni small r squared. Here, this is just equal to the square root of kaning pi r squared nga natin. This is just the area of the base. And the pi r squared here for small letter pi, I uh, mean small letter r, that's just the area of the top. So therefore, for a general formula for any frostom, that is just equal to the height of that frostom all over 3 multiplied by the area of the base plus the area of the top plus the square root of the product of the area of the base and area of the top. This is the general formula of a postum. General formula of a postum. So, dire sa ato example, ang atong frost, ang akong frostum nga ipakita ninyo is duha. We have a frostum of a cone and then the second one is we have a uh, frostum frostum of a uh, pyramid now for a frostum of a of a pyramid the volume is still the same with this general formula nga volume kanisiya that is height over 3 so for a pyramid it has a height diba na siya height ni siya na na siya height dira sa iyang kaputol padong sa base and then here, in yung call area of the base. So, the base area here is a square for a square pyramid. And then, this is the area of the base pl plus the area at the top. So, the area of the top here is kanisiya. So, itong kanon, kanisiya. Kani akong gi-colored nga red. Okay, so this should be parallel to the base. So, this is area of the top. Plus the square root of the product of the base area and the top area. So, Manisha, this is the general formula for a frostum. So, atala indicate this is V sub F lang. And ato na quadri is V sub F for the cone, FC. Okay. So, in basically, ing anara. So, na ipang otana ni? So, wala dimo ani sa inyo kwan? Wala mo ani sa senior high? Na, gipakita ang derivation. Ang formula lang. Okay, so basically this this is just a review for you po para makan mo ba yun sa pagkuha ng mga volume sa frostum. Okay, so let's proceed na sa kanang volume of truncated 3D solids and prismatoids. So here ang frostum mo gang truncated lahi na sila kay unsa galit to sa frostum ang pagkat niya unsa ra to Mr. Ablen makaibaw ta nga frostum na siya kay ang ang nakat nga portion kay unsa to siya is it parallel or naka incline naka naka incline Ang katayahang nakat nga area ba? Naka-incline dia ito? For a frostum. Unsa, unsa to iyahang kuan, forma sa, sa, sa nakat nga part or nakat nga portion. Is it naka-parallel sa base or naka-incline? Okay. So, mana siya ang sa frostum. Now, since truncated naman ta, on sa mong na-notice sa figures area, kaning duha lang, kaning prism o kaning cylinder, on sa'yo naitabo sa nakat nga area. Kani? Wala pa? Kani siya? Basing nag-loading pa siguro. So, kani, kani? Na, na? May next slide na?
<laughs> Basic gun Hina yung ang kan Connection So, ina lang ko if nakita na So, na naman ko sa slide Tell me if nag-breeze kay Nang proceed na ko sa next slide Kaning uh, volume of a Kanantang kitted 3D solids and prismatoids Pangotana, di ba? We are now on uh, volume of truncated solids. So, ang un sayo muna pansin sa mga truncated nga mga 3D solids. Sa ilang nakat nga part, kanin siya kanin green nga akong gishade are. Ang sayo muna pansin. O, oh, murag naka-incline siya no? Murag gitibangan siya pa-incline ba? Okay, so therefore, for a truncated nga mga solids, ang cut out niya is pa-incline. So, makuha agya po na nato ang volume na niya. So, here, let's start with the regular prism. So, ato ni i-indicate 3A. Ah. Condition 3D model sa left. Ato, at, ato ni kanon tawagon nga truncated prism. So, truncated prism. For a truncated kanang prism, Ang general formula ana is, of course, once na, na, na truncate na siya, on sa may mag vary na ani ablen. Di ba nakabantay ka? Ang iya mga height, sakto ba? Kani di ba? This one na tay height. Okay, height 1, height 2. So wala na nag freeze imo kan, height 3, height 4. So on and so forth. Okay, mana siya. And then, to solve for the volume of a truncated, the general formula is volume for a truncated prism, ah, that is just equal to the uh, koan, area of the base. So, that is area of the base. So, depende. Depende sa klase sa prism because natay prism nga ang base kay square, Natay prism nga ang base kay triangle or octagon, pentagon and polygon nga side so magagad gina siya. So let's say this this one kada kung gishade, gishade dan mo ni ang base area. So the volume for a truncated so meaning um gitibangan siya pa pa hiwi, so pa incline. The general formula is area of the base times multiply nag times the Average height. The average height. So, ikaw, naka idea on say formula for the average height. So, may pasabot ng average. Oh, mean. Sakto. Correct. Mean. So, meaning, kung pila ka sides naa or pila da ka vertex ang naa sa or sides man because i think side relates pa sa vertex so sa polygon kay kay sa square pila man ka i mean corners da ay di ba sa square na upat ka corners sa pentagon ay lima so mura siya relate pa just sa number of sides so if natay kanang kuan tulo ka sides so that is a triangle so naapod siya tulo ka height so, ang average height ana sa triangle is the sum of the three heights, three different heights divided by three. Sakto ba? Okay, so therefore, we can say that the general formula for a truncated prism, aside from the cylinder ha, line mo na sa cylinder. So, that is area of the base multiplied by the height that is mag start siya ni height 1 plus height 2 hantod ni height n meaning pila pila ka sides divided by n okay so suppose one example lang nato for for um triangular prism for triangular prism uh, the volume is just sample man triangular prism 
ang ihang n is equals to 3. So, therefore, the volume of a uh, kanang koan triangular prism is equal to area of the base, that is the area of the triangle, nasa base, multiplied by uh, the first height, second height, and the third height. Tulura kay triangle man, ang n sa triangle kay 3, divided by 3. So, if that is a square, divide by 4, if that is a uh, hexagon, divide by 6, that is pentagon divided by 3. So, nag-gets ra ni mo? Nag-gets ra ang concept? Okay. Sa ikaduha, dirita ni truncated cylinder. So, kung tawag ka ni truncated cylinder. Now, si truncated cylinder man good, wala ni siya ikuan wala ni siya ingon nga diba unlike ni prism pagkatat niya ang number of height nga ma-produce is kanang kuan magagad sa number of sides but for circle ang circle ba naaba siya ay corner or wala diba wala man okay wala so, therefore, special ni ang iyahang kanang formula. So, the volume of a truncated cylinder, kung nakita ni mo sa figure, we, kung tunga on dahil si cylinder, naara siya ay duha ka height. Diba? H1, that is the lower height, and H2, the upper height. Okay? And added information, actually, ang iyahang mag-generate nga Cutted area sa babaw, this is an ellipse. From a point of view. Pero good. Oh, oh sakta good. Ellipse na siya since ang circle is perpendicular man. So, since naka-incline na siya, ellipse na ang ma-generate ang area sa babaw. So, to solve for the volume here, aw, oh, use the general formula. Diba? Balik ta, the general formula here is this. Kani ang gi, gi ko anan, gi enclose og black nga pen. Naklaro na ni mo? Wala nag breeds ara? Okay, so this is our general formula. Take note, this is our general formula. So, mo na tong gamiton. So, that is the volume of a truncated cylinder. That is just the area of its base multiplied by the average height. So, since I have base kay circle with a given radius r, so that is pi r squared, multiplied by its average height. Since the cylinder kay only contains two, two different heights, the lower and the upper, so we have h1 plus h2 divided by 2. So, therefore, mara na iyahang formula. In terms of diameter, that would be pi d squared, height 1 plus height 2, that is over 4 times 2, that is 8. So, mana siya. Nasunod ra? Okay, so let's proceed to the next one. Kaning weird nga, kuan, weird nga 3D. Tawag ani niya is prismatoid. Nakasugat na kani sa an? Kani siya nga 3D? Kani? So, bago ni mo. So, kani prismatoid, weird kani siya kay. Pusan prism ni siya, pero dagan siya ay cut out. Nagi-cut out siya sa middle. Hingi ni, cut out middle, the ripod. Well, bisag kung pila pa cut out zira or unsa pa nakakuan. Anyways, ang pinaka base ani niya is a prism gini siya. Meaning, kani siya, this is a rectangular prism, di ba? At ang mananotice, kung wa, pa ni siya gi-cut out, na pa na siya hidden lines are nga. Four-sided gini siya nga prism. So, since gi-cut out man, so dagan na kay siya mga sides. Kung atong kanon niya, muna na siya na, na convex na ning upper, na concave ang lower. So, anyways, Ang gigamit ani nga kuan gud kanang theorem pag ang derivation ni ani is by using the Pappus theorem. 
So, taas man ito ang derivation basig tamahuman ani. So, here, ako lang isawat ang iyahang formula for the volume of a prismatoid. Actually, the volume of a prismatoid, whatever pila pa na cut out dira, as long as you know the koan, as long as you know these three parameters. The first one, ako i-encircle ha, you'll know the area, the median area, or the area at the middle. Okay? And this area should be parallel to the base area, labeled as A1, and also parallel to the top area, labeled as A2. Again, ang AM, this is the the mid area. So, sa tunga-tunga sa itong prismatoid, makakuha ka sa area, pwede kayo na siyang information. The next, the last di ay nga parameter is you should be able to know the height of this prismatoid. That is the distance, the the shortest distance from the base area and the top area. So, if you have this information, the formula for the volume of a prismatoid is just equal to the height divided by 6. So, 6 is a fixed number multiplied by the area at the top plus area of the bottom. Well, anyways, pwede man siya exchange area at the top or, or area at the bottom then plus area at the top. So, this is A1 plus A2. A1 plus A2 plus 4 times the mid area. So, 4 is a fixed number. So, mana siya ang volume sa prismatoid. So, nung duman lang din ninyo, ang derivation mag taas kayo. So, nakuha na. Wala ni pangatana. Well, anyways, kanin prismatoid, panagsara man kanin magawa sa examination since weird mode kanin ako. And anyways, in reality, wala man kayong ani nga makita ka ayo. Okay, so let's proceed to the last one that is the volume of a koan of a sp spherical segment and a spherical cone. So, duhan ni siya kabuok. Spherical segment og ang koan. Spherical kanang cone. So, let's start with uh, the spherical segment. So, mamani ang spherical segment kaning nasa left. So, we're going to call this one as the uh, spherical segment. Spherical segment. So, gamit kayo ni siya sa koan. Especially kanang sa navigation. And not only for navigation, also in, in manufacturing. Kanang mag-create sila bowl. Nga uh, spherical shape. So, ang pasabot sa kanang spherical segment is kanisya kaning ginikit niya from here enclosure niya ni diri a unya padong area so mara siya mura gitibhangan meaning gi cut out ang sphere pero ang pag cut out niya is kan siya uh, naka naka horizontal siya ang cut out so gi cut out let's say this is the direction of the cut out gi cut out ang sphere nga paing ana ang makuha ang matangtang mo na siya gitawag nga spherical segment so for a spherical segment the volume the volume of a spherical segment so that is SS is just equal to again more siya o ganang kuan, more siya one third same with the pyramid that is pi h squared all over 3 then we have 3R minus H. So, on sa may pasabot ani ang koan? Ato ang R. So, ang R ani, well, this is big letter R based atong given dili. So, pasabot ani H, this is the height from this point, kung asa nagsugod ang pagpahak ni mo, since ang pagkatap ni mo ka nag-start diri ah, kanay akong gishidan o green. So, diyan na magipahakan. The height there, from there to the tip of this sphere, mo na siya ang sukod sa height. Gilabeled as H. So, therefore, that is H here. 
pi h squared over 3 multiplied by 3 times the radius. The radius here, the big letter R, represents the radius of this sphere. So, marana siya ang iyaha volume. This one. And then, next, gitawag na to o ganang ikaduha is the spherical cone. Now, for a spherical cone, actually, ang drawing ano niya is gikan sa sphere na ay, na ay cone shape so na ay cone shape nga na generate then kani pong cone shape na ay sphere sa ubos portion sa sphere ba so mura siya nang ingani cone shape let's say na atay ana dira then na ana height na ay sphere sa ubos so the entire thing that is the cone plus the segment okay the cone plus the uh, kanang segment ta siya. So here pwede kaayo. Pwede kay na nato makuan. Ato ang ma-derive. So here ato ibutang the volume of the spherical cone. Okay, ato yung yan na. Um, that is just uh, equal. So equal na siya sa um, one third area of the base. Okay? So, this time, ang area na ani, since naka spherical ko naman siya, ang area ani is already now the area of this zone. Okay? Kaya mo naman ni, ang iyahang base area sa, ang base area na sa spherical cone is already a sphere. So, therefore, what is the area of this portion of the sphere? Now, sa previous ni nga, section na ako discuss for for an area of the zone that is area of a spherical zone SZ that is just equal to 2 pi the radius of the koan the radius of the sphere this is big letter R then multiplied by the height of this zone that is H so here atara ibutang is um mahimor na siya og one third, okay, one third area of the area of the spherical zone that is a s z. Then, I multiply it nato siya sa koan. Uh, multiply nato siya sa height niya. That is the height here is an saman sa may height ane niya. Well, that is r. So we have here r. Gikan gid sa tip tiri sa ubos. Gikan sa kanang koan. Gikan sa center from the tip of this. So, diri ah. So, therefore, ang area of the zone diri is 1 third multiplied by 2 pi rh multiplied by r. So, therefore, we have 1 third. I mean, this is 2 third pi r cube h. So, this is the volume of the spherical cone now we can also koan we can also use this information another equivalent for the volume of this uh, spherical cone is to consider this cone here okay na magutay cone nga generate kanisiya pa ko trace apa kanisiya from here to here and also this one this is a cone we're in the base radius is this small letter R. And also, plus this segment here, kaning sa top. Okay, since na naman tayo volume sa segment, so ato ira ira si i add. So therefore, the volume of the spherical cone is just equal to the volume of the spherical segment plus the volume of the cone nga hole. So, na naman tayo volume sa spherical segment, that is pi h squared all over 3 multiplied by 3 times the radius minus h plus the volume here of the cone kay g count as the center well the height here is unknown diba because not a height there is a cone let's say this is just the big letter h okay that is just the um big letter h so, saying ani, in this 
um, kuan manner ato makuha pud si kuan each doing a capital so that is plus um, the value of the cone is again one third area of the base so area of the base of this cone is kanyang gishidan kaning red so circular na siya and then ang ihang radius kay r so that is one third uh, pi small letter r siya squared times the height here sa cone is this capital letter h capital letter h here, makaderive ta ni H. Unsaon man, sir? So, katong kita ang sa ta figure. We're going to erase this again. By looking at the figure, kung tunga on na to ang sphere, makagenerate ta nga kaninga triangle. If we're going to extract that one, di ba? From the center, project ta ang atong gipikas. Sa gipikas, na projection nga R, di ba? This is the small letter R. And then from the center to the tip of this R, this is also equal to the radius. So therefore, ato na create is a right triangle wherein this one is our height h. Mao na ang ato ang gipangita. By using Pythagorean theorem, we can have the value for h that is equal to the square root of r squared minus the small r squared. So substituting that one, na atay volume sa tong spherical cone that is v is h is equals to pi h squared all over 3 multiplied by 3r minus h plus 1 third pi r squared multiplied by the square root of r squared minus r squared. So, you can also use this. Kani siya mas naklaro yun nga ato yun from basic principle yun nga tong gi Gito nga ang volume sa spherical segment. I mean, atong gi-add ay, I mean, gi-add na to ang volume sa spherical segment. And the volume of the cone. Okay. Pagkuha na to diri, mag-generate ta, mag-project ta lines, ma-create ta og cone. Now, gamit ni siya, since of course, sa manufacturing, what if na tay whole nga sphere? at siya gipikas horizontally so makakreate ma og uh, spherical segment then if na kay if wala kay knowledge sa unsa pagkuha sa volume ana so maglisod ka so with, with the help of this formula ang gi present sa inyo then makakuha mo sa volume sa spherical segment and also for the spherical cone so naipangutan ani Mr. Ablen